Wogi there. Idiot. You know that kind of thing. Those languages shouldn't come from your mouth. Now, I will tell you, why do people fall to peer pressure? Should I tell you? Yes. Number one, acceptance. You want to be the reigning boy in school. Eh? I'm not on call to a bit of them. I fly you and trials them. Now, I guess that you saw this teacher now. Can't yeah. get see my number, the happening boy. Eh? And then for the girls, she kept my boyfriend. <laughs> I am Duran Didi, the coordinator of Enigu Branch, Federal Government Girls College Ledger alumni. We recently organized our community service where we go to schools talking to young people on sensitive topics like um, peer pressure, morality, and self-development, even life after school. There are many reasons why we are doing or why we did what we, do, we did. Um, first of all, we looked at the society we live in and we saw that um, there is so much moral decadence. It wasn't that way. And coming from our background, we know how we were trained and we, we felt it was necessary to change the things we're not comfortable with the moral decadence, we said to ourselves, if we actually grew up in a background where we turned out to be very decent citizens, the onus lies on us to replicate what we have. And so we decided to go to schools to talk to them on, on responsible life. We were also inspired by things we hear on the radio. I give you an instance. There is a radio station called Dream FM. And one of the days we were listening, it is um, a program called Ochichobudu. And they said that most of the rural schools don't have books. They don't even have um, teachers or people who come to talk to them on life as an adult or or a responsible person and we said to ourselves I think this is where we have to fit in you know we'll go to such schools and bridge that gap be that be that sort um, that source of change my name is Onya Chinanso Amoge Pinet Ni Anibweze I am one of the project coordinators for the community service project we just finished um, my role actually was to help in getting things together alongside with others that also helped in those in the preparation sorry so um, and also we, I was one of the key presenters the key speakers in each of the school we went to being a key a primary speaker you have to have all those um, topics offhand so that you can be called up at any point in time to come and present a topic so that's one of the things uh, the roles I played too and the highlight for me in those school the schools we visited was um, the very first school. They brought the questions the students asked. Uh, as in, I could see that we really touched lives. They were able to speak their minds. You can see these children as uh, they're, they're battling this peer pressure at a very high level. So they were able to speak their minds to us. Though they couldn't stand up and raise up their hands and say it, they had to write down their questions on papers and we read them out and answered them. So even with the extra extent of sending text messages, which we also went on to reply. So um, one of the text messages that I really liked, one said, I really miss you guys. Thank you so much for coming. You turned my life around. I hope you'd come again and visit us. And then one of the, the, the one of the schools, the principal was practically crying, so to speak. He said he's so so impressed that he was overwhelmed with our presentation that he wouldn't understand what the battles he fights with these children every time they come to school. That he's always calling policemen to come in and break up fights and stuff. That he would really love it if we make it like a, a consistent thing. My name uh, is uh, John Ekpa, principal of Community Secondary School, Ugogoniki. The old girls. Uh, of uh, Federal Government College Ledger. They were here and uh, their coming is timely. Actually, from uh, what they've given to the students, really, I'm impressed. And, uh, the students uh, really, they are really happy with the 
with the lectures, with the advice and the sensitization given to them. And uh, I thank God for their coming. We have just resumed for the for a new session, and their coming is timely. And uh, with the discussions and the sensitization, actually, it will go a long way to. Uh, to make to change students in the, uh, the way they reason, the way they think, and uh, the friends they keep. Uh, thank God for them. They are coming really timely, and uh, thank God for them. My prayer for them is that they should continue. Uh, I would uh, equally want them to visit the school from time to time. Maybe once in a session, at least to sensitize the students. Uh, they really, uh, I really enjoy the, their coming and uh, I pray they will, they will uh, equally extend the, the visits to other schools. They are really doing a wonderful job. I'm Wisdom Isu, a member of FGGC Ledger Alumni Enugu Branch. This community service has been everything. Like It's so beautiful the way we reach out to these kids and they actually open to us because we make ourselves so reachable. It's not the everyday advice, don't do this, don't do that. We go way down to their level and the way we think they will understand us better. We reach out to them on how to deal with pressure, on how to deal with not loving yourself, a, a lot of things. And the beautiful part of it all is when they come back with heart-wrenching questions and you see they don't know and they actually do want to know. Like it's been a, it, we all got emotional at a point when the principal of one school asked us to please keep coming. We don't have to come with our gifts. We should just make our time and come over and over again to, because he's, he's saying that uh, the impact on the students has been very positive. My name is Abu Eman, I'm SP of CSS Ugugunu. I'm very, very happy for what they have done today, for what they have taught us today. We say that as, as they want to go back to their parents, so may God protect them and guide them in Jesus' name. So, I would really say that this community service project was um, an amazing one. It was divine. I feel I saw the hand of God in it. I think the whole process was so much um, fun and it was fulfilling, really. Um, the fact that we were talking to people who actually were yearning for what we were saying, they needed to hear this come from us. And we saw the change. They were asking questions. They, 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 they needed people to fill in this vacuum for them. i give you an instance. We had someone who asked us, is it possible to live a good life considering the fact that all the people you see are bad? You know, and there were other people asking questions like, how do I, how do I stay away from bad friends? How do I become a better person? So you see, people are actually looking for reasons to become good or to have a change of lifestyle. And for us to have supplied that answer, I found this so fulfilling. For us to lead people away from their evil lives, you know, to a better life, I found that very fulfilling. The joy, the screams, you know, the exercise, it was so much joy, you know, that you're talking and people are responding and the whole process is just fun. Yes, it was. It was a humbling experience, really. It was a humbling experience because it's made me see that actually that even in my little home part of the world, I can add, um, I can make a great impact in people's lives. In our own little part of the world, we are making a great impact in the lives of the children. Who knows? One day, one of them might be the Barry Jonathans or the Obia Zekweselis or the Ngozi Konji Wallas. They will come out from that school. Self-confidence, believe in yourself. I am not the first in the class, man, I'm a mabwoso, and so I'm important. Strive to be the best of what you are. Self-confidence, self-love. What's up? Please come and talk to us. Are you Usually, I love people that smile. If your neighbor is not smiling, please let's go. My role was mainly on self-love, teaching them how to love themselves. My character varied. I was smile at a point. I was WhatsApp at a point. 
it was such a beautiful role and I blended in. I'm a bit of a crazy person so it was quite easy to blend in and be happy with them because we made them smile, we made funny gestures and they so loved it all. So I wouldn't really say reaching out to them was a challenge for me or playing my role. I, I think I liked what I did. It was fun for both us and them. My name is Enichi Anyang Helen. Um, the experience about this uh, community service has been awesome and changing too for me as a person because I there are some schools I never expect would be in such states. Some questions I never expect could be asked. Some things I never expect could be seen, but those are the practical things we faced when we went to visit those schools. So it's been an awesome experience for me and um, it gave me a good change, a positive one at that. During my presentation, I took the name Easter and I tried to explain to them life after school, what you expect after school, the challenges after school. You don't just expect a bed of roses, you come out and then you get popped up in a society of everything available. So you have to walk your way through life by starting something small and what you enjoy doing. I call us smart and brilliant ladies in pink changing the, making the world a better place one thing at a time. This, this community service is everything, like it needs to thrive. It needs to thrive, it needs to be supported because what we do is beautiful. Honestly, I wish we could do more. It's so bad it's once a year and once it's done, we all miss it. So first of all, we became so creative with our job. Uh, we knew that if we were to appeal to the youth, we had to have some touches of entertainment. And we also understand that the young people we're talking to don't really have that time to give to you. And so if they have to give you that time, you've got to pay for it. And by paying for it, we made sure it was fun. For instance, we went, we went on such names as Indomi, 30 billion. Um, we went on names like um, Hot Rice, Good Child. We looked for names that are catchy, something you won't forget in a bit. You know, when you hear names like 30 billion, knowing fully well that um, just recently Davido released a song, you know, the song 30 billion for your account to you. And then we know that once you hear that, you know, it flashes. And because of that name, you remember a lot of things we've said and it sticks forever. So that's why we decided to make it creative and entertainment and entertaining. And at some point we saw ourselves dancing on stage, you know, just to send a point. You know, we got so dramatic. We, at some point, we exaggerated the truth, you know, whatever it means to make it, you know, entertaining and to drive our points home. That's what we did. Okay, so here's the problem, the funding, was a big challenge. So first of all, we taxed ourselves because come on, it's, um, um, it's a passion. It's something you want to do. So it begins with you. You've got to make sacrifices. And so when we saw that we couldn't take it that far, we decided to appeal to people. We wrote letters, we made calls, we sent messages, and you know, we followed up, not just sending this. And we sent a video of what we've done in the past. And a lot of people had, you know, they connected with this video and they saw the importance, you know, considering the fact that what we're talking about is something that will benefit the society. And so when people hear all of this, they are moved, you know. So that's that's how we got the funds that sustained our exercise. We are all still starting up. None of us, uh, it's not been up to 20 years any of us graduated from the school. So raising the funds to run this project wasn't easy. We had to go around, we taxed ourselves immensely. We went around asking people for money. Some were forthcoming, ple pledges were made. Some weren't fulfilled and stuff. So the major issue we had was raising the funds we needed for the service, for, uh, the community service. On our own, we wouldn't be able to do it because we still have young members that just grasp. We have 
um, members that recently graduated, like 2016, 2015, these uh, ladies are yet to even gain admission into the university. So, someone that is not even working, how do you expect that person to raise money? And the project costs a lot of money because the students, are, you, when you go to schools, we have to, the logistics, getting transportation and all what knows, preparing the materials. And when you get to the school, you have to give the children incentives. You give them books, you give them um, writing materials and novels, lots of stuff, you understand? So it, the, the major challenge we faced was the funding. That's the major challenge, actually. Most of the schools we visited, we discovered that they needed books. And so most of the money we got from people, we invested in books. We bought a lot of books, textbooks, notebooks, pencils, pen, boxes, pens. And then we got sponsorship from companies like Indomie, um, um, Hypo, Dano Milk, and you know, a lot of them. We're so grateful to those people. Let me tell you a bit of what happened. We actually got to the crescendo of the phone when we were disseminating this gift and would see kids, thank you, we love you. You know, we were so excited. They would queue up, we would give them one after the other. You know, so it means a lot to us. We want to say a very big thank you to all of the people who, who um, cooperated with us, gave us gifts, gave us money at this period. Thank you so much, dear. You would see that we made very good use of the resources and the money you gave to us. I want to redirect our attention to the rural schools. I want people to remember that there are schools in the rural areas. A lot of activities go on in the urban states, schools, but the rural schools are neglected. I want people to wake up, people to take it up as a challenge, to visit those schools, support, buy them books, get them uniforms, get them, you know, whatever you can lay your hands on. They need your attention. All of those assistance we give to schools in the urban area, we can do that to the schools in the rural area. Invest in our youth. I think that's the most important thing anybody can do to the society. Oh my God, I can't thank my team enough. They've been very supportive. We're family. I, I don't know, I don't know, like a, a huge family, so, so full of love. We understand ourselves by just looking at ourselves. We know what we want to do. And then we just have this cooperation. I want to thank them very well. I don't even know who to call and leave the other. We've been so powerful, so energetic, so hardworking, so beautiful. You know, we've been cooperating. So thank you so much for being there, for being a part of this family, for being so loving, generous with your time, with your money, with your finances, with, with everything about you. Thank you so much. And to our sponsors and our supporters and our well-wishers, I can only pray that God blesses you. I don't know. Thank you so much. We love you. We love you.